Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle and DIY projects every single week. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm really excited for today's video because it's all about making your own DIY art prints at home with materials that you probably already have. So in this video, I'm focusing specifically on watercolors because I feel like a lot of people might have some watercolor at home. And this way you're able to create something without having to buy something new. So for all three of these projects, I'm using one palette, some brushes that I got from Michaels a really long time ago, and I'm also just going to be using some cardstock instead of watercolor paper, just to give it that print look on some smooth paper rather than having it on like rough watercolor paper. So I hope that you guys draw some inspiration for this video. So let's get into the first project. Hello from voiceover Tina. So for materials, I'm using the most basic items, and this is a Koi watercolor palette that I got from Amazon. And then I'm using some brushes that I've had in my stash for a while. And of course, you can't use watercolors without water, so I have a small water bowl here. And then lastly, I'm using an old towel to wipe my brush. And for paper, since each one of these designs are pretty flat, I'm just going to use cardstock. I also really want these pieces to look like a print, so this works great instead of using watercolor paper. And that's all you need to get started, so let's get into the first project. Alright, so this first design is inspired by this Kate Spade pillow that I got from Marshalls a really long time ago, and it's a very fun design with black loops and swirls, but if you look closely, you can see that it says, this is the life in cursive, and I really love the way this looks. It's just so timeless and will work in different spaces, so we're going to emulate this design on paper. So I'm going to use a fine tip brush for this painting and all you really need is black watercolor, but I also think this will look great in red or any color of the rainbow you prefer. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but I'm going to do a combination of loops and my calligraphy mind kind of kicked in here because then I started writing cursive I's and C's and E's and L's. But I think to make this print look really good, you kind of have to try your hardest to make it look as imperfect as possible. So don't worry too much if you mess up a little bit. I think it gives it a lot more character and it looks a lot more abstract. So as I'm making each line, I'm letting it go off the page or even have them be uneven, but really I just want to have fun with it and just let loose and get creative. So now I'm getting to the place where I want to have my hidden phrase in cursive. So I'm choosing to write a French phrase because I thought it'd be a little bit more fun and kind of adds a Parisian chic vibe to it. So I'm going to go with the phrase, c'est la vie, which means such is life, but you can put whatever phrase you'd like. And if you're looking for a few other options, I have some listed on the screen here. And after you're done with the cursive, all you need to do is cover the rest of the page with more loops and swiggles. And when you're done, your piece should look something like this. I feel like this design is just so cute and abstract. It really tricks your eye into reading some gibberish and then one super cute phrase in French. And I just love how it looks in my space. I think it's really going to fit so many different styles and I hope that you guys have fun creating something like this. So for the second design, I'm going to do a pattern design inspired by fruits. So you can choose whatever fruit you'd like, but I'm going to paint a papaya for this one. So if you're a beginner to watercolor, I think the easiest way to get started is just by breaking down the shapes of the object. So first, as you can see, I'm just using the shape of the brush to create these two little half moon shapes right next to each other. And then after that, I'm going to create a bigger pear shape meeting at the top of the two domes again. Then I'm going to paint the rest of the papaya, but I'm leaving some negative space in the shape of a teardrop so we can put in our seeds later. Now I'm just going to repeat this around the whole page and it's best to make them about the same size, but you can really put them in any direction that you'd like. Now after letting this dry, I'm going to paint in the seeds with some black watercolor. And the trick here is to use a little bit less water so that you don't affect the layer under it. So I'm just going in with my brush and I'm not going to make these perfectly round circles. Instead, I'm going to use the bristles of the brush to make them look a little bit more rough, which also adds some character to the print. And again, you just wanna repeat this to each one of the little papayas and you're finished. 
Then I decided that I wanted to make this painting a set, so I'm going to create another print featuring lemons. And for the lemons, I'm going to use this bright yellow to make two little domes across from each other. And then I'm going to draw some curved lines to connect them together, creating this eye shape. And all you need to do is fill it in and it creates this beautiful little lemon shape. I repeated this around the whole page like I did with the papaya and then I let it dry. Now to add in some texture, I'm adding in little white dots and lines, but for some reason the white in this palette looked blue over the yellow, so I had to go back in with another white. But hopefully this doesn't happen to you so you don't have to worry about this extra step. I love how cute this print looks and I think it would be perfect for your kitchen or for the bathroom, especially to refresh your space for spring and summer. And right now I have it hanging in the bathroom and I absolutely love the way it looks. Also, I did not have two matching frames, but I wanted to show you what the two pieces look like side by side, so I just taped them up on the wall, but hopefully you can use your imagination and envision what it would look like. So this last one is a really fun one that you can personalize any way that you'd like. So first you're going to make a bunch of blobs in whatever shape, size, and color you want. I'm making my piece pretty colorful with pink, beige, rusty orange, green, and a mustard yellow. So you really want to create these blobs in different sizes and shapes to really draw the eye around the whole page. Then after it's dry, I turned the piece around a bunch of different ways so I could figure out which way I wanted the bottom and the top to be, but I ended up on this configuration and I think it looks pretty balanced. Now I'm going to create the two contour leaves with black watercolor, and again you can personalize this with whatever leaf that you want, but I personally love Monsteras so of course I had to paint them. As a reference, I'm using this image that I found on Pinterest, so if you're doing a different leaf, I would highly recommend that you do the same. And then with a pencil, I'm going to sketch in a triangular shape as a guide for my leaf, and then I'm going to start creating the contour line. And for me, it was really helpful to reference back to the image so I can create one continuous line for my leaf. After you're happy with the sketch, you can go over the pencil lines with black watercolor and depending on the look that you're going for, you can make the line the same width or you can make it thicker and thinner for a more abstract feel like how I am right here. And finally, all you have to do is erase your pencil marks and you're done. I really love this print because it gives me a modern vibe without being too boring and minimal. I love the fun colors and it just looks so good styled with everything else in my place. I can't wait to hang it up on my wall. All right, everyone, those were the three prints that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope that you guys love them as much as I do. I just feel like they are so cute and so graphic and it could fit either in a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, so many places that you can put these prints and also you can really customize each one to make it into your own. So whatever phrase that you want to do for the first project, whatever your favorite fruits are, or whatever your favorite plant is, you can definitely incorporate it into each one of these paintings. I hope this video inspires you guys to use your watercolors at home because really you can use some simple techniques to create some really beautiful prints. I think my favorite one has to be this papaya one from the video just because it's so in your face and so colorful. I definitely need to find two frames so I can hang this and the lemon one next to each other. And I'm maybe even thinking about putting some black writing over the lemon prints so I'll tie in the black of this painting better. But I'm just so in love with all the prints from today's video. And of course, I really love this graphic one just because it's plants and I'm so obsessed with plants at the moment. It comes in waves, like my obsession with plants goes up and down and up and down. But right now it is at like an all time high. So I really love this. So I'm excited to see what you guys create. And if if you do create something, please tag me on Instagram at 
Tina Doodles. I would really love to see it. I get so excited when people tag me, so please keep them coming. Also, I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for 4,500 subscribers. We are so close to 5,000 and I'm just so, so, so excited. And I'm just really appreciative of everyone's nice comments. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this channel. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button down below. I'm posting every single Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm posting there every single day. And that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.